Hey, has this ever happened to you? Tell me if this resonates at all with you or this sounds familiar. You've been diagnosed with prediabetes and so that motivates you. You don't want to develop diabetes. You'd like to reverse prediabetes. That motivates you to make some changes. And so you learn about healthy lifestyle. You learn about nutrition for prediabetes and you start on a new program. And initially it's going well. You're getting great results. And then something happens, usually about three to six weeks in, something happens, something changes, and it becomes hard for you to get the results. And generally things will disappear with either a flame or a fizzle. So a flame, one day you just say, oh my gosh, this is too hard, I can't do this anymore, and everything falls apart over the course of a couple hours or a day, and you're no longer following the program. Or perhaps it's more with a fizzle where one day you just say, oh my gosh, I don't remember when I stopped doing that program, but I'm not doing it anymore. And you realize that you have slid backwards to where you started or, oh my gosh, sometimes even a little bit worse. Any of this sound familiar? Well, hey, if it does, I want you to know that you are not alone. We're going to talk about what to do. So, hey, I am Dr. Topher Fox. I'm an endocrinologist in Superior, Colorado, and I am passionate about helping people with prediabetes know do things, the right thing to do, and then how to follow through on those good intentions consistently. Because in this world, we are taught that we just need to know the right thing to do and then use our willpower use the strength of our mind to be able to choose to do that consistently over time. Yet every study that's ever been done on willpower that's been done on this approach shows us that it doesn't work. It doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for me, it doesn't really work for anyone. And so we need a better approach. And so what I'd like to do over the next three of these videos is introduce you to some tips about nutrition or really a system for how to think about nutrition for prediabetes because the internet would like you to think that nutrition for prediabetes is really complicated, right? And there's all this different information that's available on the internet. So much of it is conflicting and confusing. And many people just tell me, hey doc, just tell me what I should eat. I don't know what to eat, just tell me what I should eat. So we're gonna run through four goals, five rules, and five steps for building a healthy nutrition plan that will work for you. And so today, Today, I wanna to talk about the four goals. So in our training programs, we teach from this thing called the Be The Hero Framework for Reversing Prediabetes. It's a system that has been developed over the last five years really to help with this very question. How come we can know the right thing to do and we have a hard time following through on that consistently? And so every healthy nutrition plan, every healthy eating plan, every diet, I try to stick away, stay away from that word diet. But if we think about diet, it comes from a Greek word meaning way of life. We do want this to be a way of life. Every healthy eating plan is going to follow uh, or is going to meet four goals, four goals. And so let's just run through those real quick for today. So goal number one is that your nutrition plan needs to help you achieve your targets for body weight and for blood sugar. If you've been diagnosed with prediabetes, you need to bring your blood sugar down. And for many folks who've been diagnosed with prediabetes, ideally would bring the weight down or specifically, we would like to be able to decrease the amount of fat in the body to reduce the amount of fat to, to reduce weight by losing fat specifically. So that's goal number one. Goal number two is it's gotta provide adequate nutrients. So adequate macronutrients, protein, carbohydrate, fat, the things that we use to run our body efficiently, and then micronutrients, things like vitamins, minerals, and what are called phytochemicals. We'll talk about those more when we get into the five steps, uh, five rules and five steps. But number two, it's gotta provide adequate nutrients. Goal number three, goal number three, and this one's really important, it's gotta allow you to enjoy eating. As humans, we are meant to enjoy food. We're meant to enjoy food together. It's a way that we connect socially. Uh, it's a way that we bond. Often we like to have meals, have food together. And if you are on a plan or a program that isolates you from other people, it's going to be hard for that to work for you over the long term. We also like to enjoy all the different flavors and tastes and sensations in our mouth, different temperatures and textures and variety. We like to have variety. And so this is gonna be important as well. So goal number three is it's got to allow you to enjoy eating. And then finally, goal number four, 
Goal number four is it's got to be sustainable. It's got to be sustainable for you. It doesn't matter if it worked for your coworker or your boss or your mom or your sister or your friend. It's got to work for you. And there's likely more than one right way to be able to solve this equation. There's lots of different ways to, to be able to change your nutrition to eat healthy. So it's got to be sustainable for you. So again, Goal number one is it's got to help you achieve your body weight and your blood sugar target. Number two, we've got to provide adequate nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Number three, allow you to enjoy eating. Number four is it has to be sustainable. And if you think back to programs that you've tried in the past and perhaps got results for a time and then slid backwards, they didn't work for you over the long term. When you think back, you'll find that if you think about these four goals that likely you missed on certainly one and uh, likely more than one of these goals. So hey, in a couple of future videos, we are going to talk about the five rules for every healthy nutrition plan and the five steps to building a plan that will be sustainable and work for you. But if you like this training and you want to just jump ahead specifically, if you are a postmenopausal woman with prediabetes, we have a program that is built just for you because menopause brings on some special and unique needs. And we can walk with you you know, really step by step, take you by the hand and help you do this faster and easier than trying to do it just by uh, cobbling together a program on your own. So check out drtopherfox.com slash membership, or you can just go to reversingprediabetes.com. It'll take you straight there. It's a uh, one month, uh, one month for $1. You can try it really no risk. We want to make this a no brainer for you. So check that out. First month for, uh, for $1, it will take you through a 12 week step-by-step uh, -step plan to help you get results. We have weekly training, weekly group live training with myself and my nurse practitioner, Sarah Stato, two people who are just passionate about helping people be at their best through healthy lifestyle. So I hope you check that out. Reversingprediabetes.com would be the easiest thing to type into your browser. Or hey, just click the link that is up there or down there. And until next time, I wish you peace. Hey, uh, glad you're here. Take care.